Alright guys, so this is Reggie. Um, what I'm going to be doing today is showing you guys, for those of you that own uh, RPG Maker MV, um, there's a lovely character generator, but uh, essentially the game doesn't tell you how to... There we go. I wonder if my face is blocking the screen. No, it's not blocking what's needed. Let's move my face down here. That way it's not blocking anything. Alright. So my face is all the way down at the bottom. Anyways, so the first thing you'll need to do once you've downloaded generator parts is essentially on your laptop or computer or um, make a folder that's just called generator. That's where all of your generator parts will be going. And there's parts that go for the face, the SV, the TV, the TVD, and the variation. And then once you've got that, like I've got one here, it's called generator. And then there's this is all of my generator parts. Well, not all of them, but some of them. So, like, I've got all these awesome beards. All right. So let's do a complete beard trim. Let's do that. So this is going to be for the males. So once you have um, and this one, I'm showing doing a complete beard trim. You can find it on the forums. Um, I am going to give thanks to uh, Scythian Bard, I think is his name. Let me pull up his picture. And I can tell you. Ah, uh, photos. I think. Oh, no, that's what the beards look like. I think that's just... Yeah, that's Christian. But I think his name is Scythian Bard. Anyways, um, here's his name. Um, so you can pretty much find it. Um... But anyways, these are all of his collections. So you can click, you can even click um, generator and it's all here. So let's do this. So here we go. So we're in the beards part of, and we're in the generator part. And you go to your OS, your C file. If you have it on Steam, I'll show you how to get there. Um, normally you just go to your programs, uh, x86. Now, if you didn't get it on Steam, there will actually be a folder that I don't have called Kawadawa. Um, probably, I think, in all capitals. Um, you would go into that folder. If you own it on Steam, what you'll do is you'll go through Steam. And you'll go into the Steam apps. You'll go into Common. You'll find RPG Maker MV. And you'll find things that says generator. And there you go. So now we're going to open the face. And since these are for males, we're going to open the male. Alrighty. So, and then we're going to open face. And we're going to open male. Now you see how this is called FG Beard P25. Now you notice all these have FG. Now this, AACC, means accessory A. And this is one. And this is a uh, second variation of it. So see 13, 13. Okay? Alright. So these are all accessories. So if we go down, we'll get to where the beards are. Now you see I actually already have these beards. Now you're probably wondering how I got... Well, I don't have them all. So I only have that one. They don't have this one or this one. So we're going to put them in. And I'll show you how to do this. So you notice we have up to beard 11. So what you would do is you would come here. Oh no, I don't have any of these. Okay, so what you'll do is you'll go and what I normally do is I go ahead and hit rename. And the only thing you gotta change is this 25. So since we have up to 11, we'll put P12. And there you go. And then you'll do it to this one. So let's go ahead and rename this. And we'll name this 13. Uh, P13. And then we'll rename this to P14. Alright, so we have thir 12, 13, and 14. And you'll essentially go copy. And you'll just hit Heist. And voila, there it is. They're matching up. Good. 
All right, so we got them in the face. Now we got to get them in all the other parts of the generator. That way it all matches up. So we're going to go back to the generator tab on both uh, folders. We're going to click on SV and mail. So that's all we got. Click on SV and mail. So again, here's here, 25, 25, 26, 26, 27, 27. So again, we're going to go down. We're going to find our SV beard. Here we are. Again, we have up to 11. So we're going to name this one, rename, 12. And you'll hit enter, or, you know, whatever you need to hit. And you'll rename this one. Now you'll leave the C there, because that's a different color. That's, um, that's a lighter color than the other one. So you need to leave the C there. All you're doing is changing the number. That's it. You are not changing anything else. So again, you'll go through, rename all of these. And no, I don't have video software to speed this up. So you're just going to have to bear with me going through. Uh, renaming these. 13. Oh, wait, no. This is the new one. So this is 14. And this one will be 14. Fourteen. All right, and then you'll do the same thing. You'll go, and we'll copy it. And I know some of you are probably wondering why, I'm, why am I copying it and pasting it instead of just moving the whole thing in case you ever want to change stuff. So now they're all there. So then we'll go back to the generator tab in both, and then we'll go to TV. All right. And again, we'll do the same thing. It, like once you figure the system out that all you have to do is go in and quite literally change the numbers. What? Not one, one, two, twelve. And essentially, one is the upper part, one is the the lower shadow. So you have to make sure you rename them both, or else it won't look right. Um. So. Rename. 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 Fourteen. And we'll rename this one fourteen. And I copy and paste just to be on the safe side in case the files ever get corrupted in the maker themselves. I still have all of my parts and pieces that I have downloaded from the wonderful people on the uh, forms and stuff. And you just go paste and voila! And you have them. And then we'll go back to the generator. And then we'll go to TVD. TVD. Mail. Mail. And again, you'll go through the renaming step. And yes, you need to do this for every single folder. Or else, it will not work. It will not match up. Okay? So you need to make sure that you go through, rename all of the parts to be the same. Like we had 12, we had 13, and we had 14. So I'm essentially sticking to 12, 13, and 14. Because if you rename them the wrong number, it won't match up and it won't look pretty. I've It took me a while to get everything to match up the first time I started messing with the system. And now that I've got it pretty much down packed, I figured I could show you guys. Because I know some of you guys are probably questioning how you go through about doing this and making it look good. And then I will also show you in the maker, once we get them all renamed and get them all put in, I'll show you that it does indeed work. All right. And again, just put them in the, if it'll work. No, not there, just randomly paste. All right. And again, you'll go back all the way to the generator 
and you'll click the variation and you'll click the male. And this is what actually goes on your little uh, sprite character. So again, you'll rename these. This is probably the most tedious process depending on how many parts you have. Um, I actually have a ton of parts because people are wonderful and make wonderful parts. There's a person who made all of the commoner clothing. Oh, shit. P. 14. See, that's what happens when you don't pay attention. And we're going to copy these. And we're just going to come over to here. And we're just going to paste them right in. Alright, there you go. So now you got the beards. Well, these beards. Not the complete beards. I'm not going to go through all that. But anyway, so there you go. So you got those beards. Um, like I said, I have a lot of generator stuff. <laughs> Quite literally, like, generator stuff. I also have just a lot of MV stuff. I have stuff that I got bonuses of and stuff. I got a bunch of stuff. But anyways, so put that down. We don't need to be really be in either of these folders now that we've uh, got that all figured out. And we're going to go ahead and launch MV, and I will... You also kind of see what I'm currently working on, but that's not important, all right? Um, if you guys want to know what I'm currently working on, you can always put it in the comments. Um, all right. So, then you'll click the little character generator button, and it should pop up here. All right, here we go. So, we're not going to really worry about anything else other than the beards, because I want to show you guys. So, you have that beard, and that beard, and that beard. And that beard, and that, and that, and that, and that, and that, and that, and that. And you got that one which we put in, and you got that one which we put in, and you got that one which we put in. See, it all worked. And you can click all around and make them all different colors. So see, you can have a dude with pink or purple or whatever you want. It works perfectly so long as you go through. Again, you need to, and I guess I'll show one more time, one more recap. Wait one second. You should actually just have, if you're going to download a whole lot of stuff, just have a thing called MV stuff like I have. Um, and just, you know, essentially, you know, have what you need there. It can be taught, like, I have a thing called IMG, I have a thing called Justin which is uh, the JavaScript files, I have the generator parts, I have tile sets, and all that stuff is just there. So, like, I would recommend doing that if you plan on downloading a lot of resources from the community. Um, it helps to keep things all nice and pretty. And what am I looking for again? Hold on, I gotta find Steam, guys. Too worried about talking. Am I blind? No, I'm not. There it is. <sighs> Shoot go back here and again go into here and you'll go right back to the generator part um, and let's do uh, that's a lot of parts isn't it well actually these I already have so I already put those in Do I have all of these? Yeah, well, yeah, I have most of them too. Um, well, what we'll do is we'll go into face, we'll go into male, we'll go down to where the beards are, we'll take a look at what we got. So this is what we got. Alright. So, let's just start here. The complete beard trim. Alright, so that one we already got. Well, no. I don't have that one. Alright, so again, I'm going to show you one more time. You need to go through. Now, we got up to 14. So, you'll hit rename. And the only part you change, again, is right after the P. So this would be 15. If it's one, two, three, four, always put a zero in front of it. That way it shows up. 
So that would be 15, and you go through and name the 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and, uh, and then you would go through and do the same to this file and rename it, you know, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19, I do believe, um, and do it again to this file, and essentially do it to all of them, bring each one over as you do it, and it'll pretty much work. If something isn't matching up, that means the numbers aren't matching up. You need to make sure. So that's why I recommend going through, actually naming each of the files first. And if you have to, get a notebook and say, this is this, this is one, this is two, this is three, this is four. I know that may seem tedious, but if you need to do that to know what is what, do it. That way you know what you have and what you need and everything works perfectly. All right. Um, that way you don't have to worry. Okay, and let me explain this. Okay, so part one is just this little band in the hat, and part two is the rest of the hat. So you need part one for part two again. Band of the hat, rest of the hat. Part one, part two. Okay, um, anything that you notice that has part one, part two, it's the top part, the bottom part. Okay, this is the little thing that, you know, um, that I do that doesn't have anything this and this I do believe yeah this and this okay um so just make sure wait no that's not called anything anyways um yeah four and four so why is that not called 18 why is that called one dot I don't know but I'm gonna fix that if you ever notice that something isn't working, like that's, oh, that's C1. Okay, so that should be fine. Um, like this is C1, this is C2. Now, uh, there is one. Here's, uh, this one has three parts. So, that's the outline, that's the white outline, that's the uh, white outline, and that's the blue uh, part of the top of the hat. So, just, like, leave the C stuff alone. Only change where it says P and then a number. Don't change the M. Don't change the C, just change P number. Leave the P, change the number afterwards. It should work perfectly. If it doesn't, shoot me a message and I'll see if I can't fix it. But it's normally just because the number isn't matching up. Double check, make sure your numbers match up and you should be fine. Um, so yeah, there's that. And that's really all I wanted to cover. I know this is kind of short. Um, it's not normally when I upload a video either. But there you go, guys. So that's how you do it. Again, if you have any questions, have any issues, shoot me a message. I'll be more than willing to help. Um, and as you saw, I'm currently working on a game. Uh, quite a few, because I've taken some mapping requests for some other games. So there's that. And I hope this is uh, helpful. And if my thing decides to work, I'll see you guys next time.